Since you guys like that South End video so much about all the new developments coming there, let's take a look at a few more big developments coming to Charlotte in the next couple years. First, let's start off with the often overlooked West Side. I think this whole area is going to explode over the next five years and it's probably going to look like Central Ave has turned into over the last couple years or maybe eventually even, God forbid, another South Boulevard. But anyways, it's an area that's going to change really quickly. The first new development out that way is called Perch and it's by Ram Realty Advisors. It's going in at 718 Jesco Street and will be a 217,000 square foot two building project offering 213 apartments. It will be a mix of studio up through three bedroom units with balconies and views of uptown. It's nestled right between Seversville and Wesley Heights and you'll have easy access to the Greenway at Stewart Creek. Normally I don't point out a simple apartment building like this in Charlotte simply because they're going in all the time. But I wanted to point out that the West Side is finally getting some love from developers. Now the big project going on the West Side is the Savona Mill site. Currently Atlanta-based developer Portland Residential is starting phase one of this project at 528 South Turner Ave. The Savona Mill was a textile plant built over 100 years ago and it's gonna be given new life after it was purchased for $111.5 million. Plans are to take the 30 acre site and turn it into a 600 plus multifamily community offering 200,000 square feet commercial and retail space, including an outdoor plaza and amphitheater. The multi-apartment buildings will offer rooftop decks, pool with cabanas, it sounds like Vegas, a dog spa, and a yoga and Pilates studio. Really quick, I just wanted to mention Portman Holdings has actually been in the news lately. They are, own another building right next to the Zavona Mill site where Blue Blaze Brewing currently resides. Blue Blaze went to renew their lease, which ends in the middle of next month. And Portman Holdings came back and offered them a lease agreement with a rent increase of 376%. With some back and forth between the two, it's ultimately been decided by Portman Holdings that they just want Blue Blaze out. So without, there's no more negotiations. Blue Blaze is gonna be forced to leave by the, end, by the middle of next year and find a new home. It's tough to see small businesses like that be pushed out for just what amounts to, or feels like price gouging. But we saw, we've seen that with Seoul Gastro Lounge in my neighborhood. They were forced out because their rent was raised just to an astronomical amount that's kind of obscene. And I'm really curious who they're gonna to find to actually pay those, those types of amounts in these areas, but we'll see. Back to South End. As always, there's another high rise going to replace the longtime hotspot Sycamore Brewing at 2161 Hawking Street. Sycamore Brewing is currently in the process of moving a few blocks over to the newly completed office building called The Line. That's actually another Portman Holdings building and they hope to have that move completed by the spring of 2023. Now in Sycamore's old place, Portman Holdings, again, is planning on building a 24 story, 370 unit luxury apartment building. Hate that word luxury. Anyway, it'll include over 18,000 square feet of retail and restaurant space, as well as a plaza and green space. Now, just north of Uptown, two more projects are starting. First, and the largest of the two, is a six story, 350 unit building going in right next to Optimus Hall at 200 Wadworth's Place. The property was purchased by Washington, D.C. based Jefferson Apartment Group for $8 million in May. The design will feature red brick and ironwork to match that old mill look of Optimus Hall right next door. It's not technically mixed use, but will offer open co working space and have two courtyards. It'll also have a pet spa, which apparently is a very popular thing in apartments nowadays, as well as a touch that I thought was really cool. It's going to have a bike storage space with a maintenance bench as well to work on your bikes. Thought that was kind of cool. It's expected to be completed in the second quarter of 2024. At 300 East 36th Street, just a few blocks from the heart of Noda, Brooklyn real estate developer Avery Hall is planning a 420,000 square foot mixed use space. It will have almost 300 apartments and 6,800 square feet of ground floor retail. The development will also include some duplex style rental units that are inspired by the old Brooklyn brownstones. The three acre site was purchased for $9.7 million back in December. Now lastly, on the east side of the city, in the Plaza Midwood area, we have a really large development going in on 12 acres at the corner of Central Ave and Pecan. The developers are crossing southeast in combination with investment firm Nuveen Real Estate. If you've driven through there, I'm sure you realize the project's well underway. And when it's finished, it will include 400,000 square feet of office space, 383 units of luxury apartments. There it is again, because rent's not already high enough in this area. 100,000 square feet of restaurant and retail, as well as a boutique hotel. 
I've lived in this area for a long time, so it was really hard to say goodbye to Elizabeth Billiards and Sammy Steli. On the plus side, the developers are preserving one of the mill-style office buildings that was on that location before they started. I'm trying to keep my hopes up, I'm trying to stay positive, but in the end, we'll just have to wait and see how all these projects turn out for the community and for the greater people of Charlotte. I'm sure there's plenty more developments coming to Charlotte, so I'll try and keep you guys updated with all the latest. If you like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe so you can stay updated on all the changes coming to Charlotte. I'm Ryan McGran. I'm a realtor here in Charlotte. If you have any questions about buying or selling, please feel free to ask. Even if you're not from the area, my phone and my email are in the description and in the comments down below. Feel free to text, email, or call me anytime. Please check out some of my other videos. I have a lot of different content on this channel. More to come. Thanks for watching and take care.